a quick grounding moment. So find yourself a comfortable position wherever you are. Uh, as they say, uh, uh, feet on the floor if that's comfortable for you, back straight if that's comfortable for you. If neither of those is possible, just whatever is, uh, whatever allows you to feel into your body. Closed works for you, then do that. If eyes open is a better place for you to be, that is also fine. Dawn is going to start us off with, with a um, with a word cloud exercise, and as I'm almost completely unfamiliar with this, I'm going to let him uh, intro it and take it away. Mm. Yeah, so we thought it might be fun uh, to use the technology a little bit here and. Uh, uh, some people might have used Mentimeter uh, before, but it produces a real-time word cloud of our responses to a question. And because we're talking about uh, power, leadership, and healthy movement culture tonight, I uh, thought we would do it uh, around this question. So is what words or short phrases, because that's what you can do, um, would you use to describe an ideal healthy movement culture? And let me see. Uh, so you can go to www.menti.com and input this code, 63020466. And then you can uh, contribute your responses to this question, and we will see a word cloud uh, developing on the screen right before our very eyes. And will you leave that up, please? Yeah, I will. Um, For a few minutes. Yeah, I just need to get out of full screen to be able to share the direct link in the chat. Three o two o four six. Oh, I didn't get the number. One, one moment. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just, uh, uh, it's really Don, can you add the number into the word cloud? I am just going to put it into <laughs> the chat. Okay. Um, so mm. people can click on the link and go directly there. And I think mm -hmm. if you click on the link, you don't even need the code. Uh, and, um, and also, Don, are people able to just verbally add in words and then uh, have someone else type them in? Uh, if somebody else... For those who are not um, able to get to the site? So I'm not able to do that in screen share at the same time, but if somebody okay. would be willing sure. to take some words uh, from others and input them, that would be great. You can uh, put in 10 at a time and then you can actually resubmit uh, and do even more than that if you want. And so we'll see all the different words, but we'll also, uh, as we get more responses, 
um, we will start to see which ones are floating to the top that people are, uh, uh, multiple people are seeing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Marissa said in the, the chat, uh, feel free to speak or share your words in the chat and I can add them. So Alyssa, please feel free to do that. Anybody else uh, who's not able to get uh, to the floor? And so we're starting to see some of the responses and I'll just uh, read some of them out as we go here. Um, and keep things going. Uh, we have inclusive. Uh, that seems to be the, the most popular word so far. Um, we also have things like deep listening, love, transparency, breathing, honesty, compassion, care for nature, empathy, servanthood. That's a new one for me, I kind of like it. Uh, awareness of contribution, unselfishness, uh, engagement, moderation of habits, conflict transformation, imaginative, resilient, passionate. So these are all things that we would like to see as part of our healthy movement culture. And I think uh, we do see a lot of these on a regular basis. Uh, but we're going to explore later on here how we can do even better. So transparency seems to be getting a lot of uh, support. We also have a lot of uh, caring, regenerative, imaginative, democratic, respectful. Awesome. I'll just give another another minute um, for either to submit some more answers or to uh, check out uh, what's happening on the screen with our word cloud. Um, fun, fun made it in there. Maturity, systems awareness. Culture of care, like that very much. Satyagraha, nonviolence, active nonviolence. Mm. Playful, clear focus. All right, fun's, fun's coming up there, getting a little bigger. Looking beyond itself, that's a good one. Uh, agile. Uh, love old people. <laughs> love all people. <laughs> uh, knowledge of economic systems. Uh, we got a little dancing in there. Non-coercive. Um, authenticity. Trauma-informed, 
non-exploitative, open source, forgiving. All right, so um, thank you all for participating in this little experiment with the technology. Um, but I think this gives us, uh, you know, a good idea of what some of our uh, values are to start off here um, that we have, you know, both some really uh, practical stuff uh, and some more kind of lighthearted stuff. We have some more external and more internal. Uh, and then we're, you know, cultivating this whole constellation of values uh, that this, this work of creating a new culture uh, is probably every bit as complex uh, as our work in creating new systems. Um, and, and equally as rich. So I'm going to stop the share here. Uh, feel free to put more words in as we go and uh, we can keep using this. But I'm going to stop the share for now and uh, turn it back over to uh, Lisa and William. Cool. Thank you, Don. Can you guys, uh, can you all hear me okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, sometimes when my computer's on my lap, it doesn't, uh, it, it blocks the microphones. Um, so we've got, um, we've got a nice little show in store today. Um, we're, today we're talking about power and leadership and healthy movement culture. And hoping to, planning to explore best practices for leadership development and power sharing, which will support local and national organizing efforts, uh, flourishing th to flourish through a vibrant and healthy movement culture. To do that, we'll be doing a couple of breakout sessions uh, after Alesa gives us an overview, as well as some of the source material for the conversation today came from a document that Marissa had prepared based on feedback from, um, from TIs all over the nation. Um, and Alesa will be reading us the, the relevant little piece of that for the conversation today. We'll have two breakout sessions, um, each with a different prompt question. Uh, the first first one is about uh, what your wish list would be for movement resources and what our how to's might be with regards to that. And the second breakout question is related to a, a question which can be challenging for um, for transition groups, but which seems to come up a lot. And it's a it's you know, when is a situation in a group, um, when is it a difficult situation and when is it uh, a mismatch of personalities? And we're gonna be exploring um, just what the signs are between the two of those things and what the vibe is about that and, you know, what, what both of those situations feel like um, in a group. Um, and then after that, we'll, we'll harvest. Um, so we'll have note takers uh, for both of the breakout sessions. We'll come back and do a harvest. And then we'll finish up with a grounding exercise and talking about next steps. Cool. Any questions? What's the first question? To those. Uh, we'll 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 offer them up to you when you um, when you go into the breakout sessions. But okay. the first question is, um, what would be your ideal list for resources that Transition US could provide to uh, local transition initiatives? And oh right, yeah. Okay, thank you. But yeah, we'll go more into that when we do the breakout sessions. Okay. All right, Alisa. Okay. Oops. Hello. Um, I'm going to share with you from my screen a slide that has some input 
that Marissa and um, maybe others have very carefully put together from members um, and, and folks throughout the entire movement on power and leadership and mo healthy movement culture. So I wanna share with you the feedback that was received and some of the quotes from that feedback that will give a representative sense of what is being said out there. And that'll give us a springboard for our discussion this evening, where we can then deepen and hone in more on where we wanna go strategically in this movement in terms of these themes. So let me go to my screen share here. Okay, I'm pulling it up here. Um, oops. Alisa, I still see the Mentimeter. Okay. Hmm. I do no, your, your slide's up now. I see the slide. Yeah, we're good. I still see oh, okay. the Okay, wonderful. Uh, if anybody's still seeing the Mentimeter, it's because you switched to it in the web, the web browser. You have to switch back to Zoom to see what's being shared now. Okay, I see. Thank you for that. Now. Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to first just highlight some of these themes. There is feedback we've received that there's a slowness and a burden to the process of decision making that comes with the carefulness and the deep listening. There's also concern or interest in developing more skills for how to lead and how to motivate rather than assuming that that just comes naturally. Additionally, um, there is interest in developing skills in how to cultivate leadership in others in the movement uh, for leadership succession and um, having people step into roles. There's interest in uh, transition initiatives or the movement developing some specific leadership training on uh, group dynamics, handling difficult situations, um, and general uh, power and leadership and power sharing uh, topics. Could I ask someone to volunteer and just read out loud um, what's up here on the slide. I can read it. Thank you. The deep listening and sense of whoever shows up are the right people is both extremely valuable and also can be a burden in terms of slow decision making and process. Despite Rob Hopkins' aspiration for a leaderless structure, people need training in how to lead and how to motivate people. We have an opportunity to set higher standards and expectations for leadership. We can communicate about what is needed in effective transition leadership, as well as the need for more discernment in designing our core teams. TIs often struggle with challenges related to burnout or dysfunctional leadership or group dynamics. Both of these issues can be addressed with more attention to leadership development, including practical skill building around healthy and effective collaboration, cultivating the next generation of leaders, and empowering people to step up and take leadership. A few participants recommended TUS craft a leadership development course approach to help leaders see where they want to go and how to get there, including tactics and skills. Thank you so much. There are so many topics uh, to cover here, but I think if we think of this uh, as um, one in this series of strategy conversations, we will take the input that we gather tonight from all of you and 
really take heed of that in the year and the time to come going forward. So this is really a springboard, a pivot point for where the, the movement is going to focus our attention. And so whatever you share here will be um, taken into account in, in honing the strategy. We will um, next go into um, some breakout rooms and we'll do two of these and look at some questions. The first breakout session, we'll have about three people per room and Don will ask you to handle the tech on that. And we will um, have the opportunity to work uh, together in our groups of three on what is your wish list for the tools, the trainings, the articles, the materials that you would want to have available to you for power and leadership and healthy movement culture. For example, are there articles that you would like to see um, available on the website? What would the title of that article, of those articles be? How to dot, 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 you fill in the blank and come up with a list in your small group of all the items, the tools, the resources, anything that you would wish for um, to make this movement and your own work in it stronger in terms of leadership and power. Uh, any questions about that, uh, the task that we'll be doing? Don. Um, Don, if I share the agenda link with folks in the chat, uh, can they just put the notes, can the note taker for each group put their, uh, put their notes on that? Uh, don't see why not. Great. I'm going to do that. So down at the bottom of the page, you'll see breakout session one and breakout session two and space for each group um, I'm just going to put that into the chat right now. Oh, like never mind. Beat you to it. Marissa beat me to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please use the document I put in the chat. That's, um, the Listen, why don't we share that. that link one more time once we're inside the breakout sessions? Yeah. No problem. Thanks. Great. Okay. We're going to do our breakout rooms. Um, Great. We, we're going about 15 minutes each. Yeah, we'll do 15 minutes per breakout room. So bring us back together and then we'll go into 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we'll do, do some detail on the second question and we'll do it. We'll do that one then. So don't worry about the second question in the first breakout room. Okay. Well, I got it uh, lined up for three participants per room and just, uh, as always, you know, model the healthy movement mm -hmm. culture you want to see. Make sure everybody has some good time to speak and, and give you a, like a five minute warning. And please, one person yeah, at least take you, notes for your group. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you find that you're monopolizing the conversation, then take a step back and it might help to have a timekeeper because I suspect that a lot, many of us have got lots of information to share and it might be good to have a timekeeper to, uh, to just kind of make sure that that all gets uh, ends up in the in the harvest. Thanks everyone. We'll see you back here in 15 minutes. <laughs>